we have here is eight panels three to the right and five to the left let's go in and show you the system that these panels are charging I have here a 2 kVA 24 volt system. Let's see some of the reading. The battery is 25.9 volts. The output is 221 volts. And the load is 281 watts. And this is a pure sine wave. Home UPS. So let's check the configuration. That is the sound of the fan you're hearing. This is a 24 volt system, I mean, it has two batteries connected in series. Let's look at the connection. Here I have this uh, this cable connecting the two terminals of the battery from the negative to the positive to add up the 12 volts here to the 12 volts here to make it 24 so this is the cable that linked the first battery to the second battery now let's look at the, the poles this is the positive side and this is negative side. Should do very well. This is the negative. And if you look down, that is the positive there. So positive connected to the negative in series that gives us a 24 volt system. Now let's look at what's going on here. This is the inverter. We have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. These two terminals go down to the battery. If you can see the positive heading down and coming here, which is the positive terminal of this battery. Remember, this is the negative you see that so this is a positive 
and this positive red wire runs like this to the back of the inverter and if you're talking about the negative which is the black wire runs down and comes down to this negative side of the terminal so that completes the battery and the inverter connection So that is the charge controller. Now let's look at the connection. This is the battery connection to the from the charge controller to the batteries. And this is the positive. Positive is the green wire. Let's trace this green wire down. look at the green wire it also ends on the positive side of the battery remember this is the positive side of the inverter coming down here and also the positive side of the charge controller coming to the same positive terminal and that's that to the charge controller now let's trace the negative side of the battery which is this and that is the wire coming down and coming out to this negative side of the battery which also connects to the negative side from the inverter so everything negative negative from the inverter comes down to the negative side of the battery the negative side of the battery also goes to the negative side of the charge controller so that completes the charge controller the battery and the inverter now the last thing we're going to look at is the solar panel this is a positive and this is a negative so that runs into this T cable Wait. that goes into the roof and on to the top of the zip outside. So that is just the simple connection here. Then this little what you are seeing is the supply to the that to the DB. You can see the little wire had to be connected from the output which is this and this this and this is a positive and negative 
which runs straight which is this and so to this changeover so this is where we switch between the solar and generator up here is the solar why down here is the generator so this is supply to this this is supply to this and here is the output into the main changeover 